Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. See, right on the newsletters is on the left-hand side. You just hit the opening call. You hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. Six months for $695, which is a savings of $190 or 22%. And one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has an outstanding newsletter. Has about 12 archives on there, so you can go through the archives and really understand how Basil looks at the market, how the Chapman wave ride, rides this market, up and down. Basil Chapman, what's going on? That looks fantastic. Oh, man, Basil, I had such a blast. It was unbelievable. It was, I've already hunted. As soon as I come home, I'm hunting every other place where I can do this. There's only one other place that is higher than that, somewhere in India for 13,000 feet where you can jump off. It was it was crazy. It was it was just and it was peaceful. Oh my God! It was so peaceful. It, was, well, it must be very quiet. Yes, it was. And so so they, do, is there a certain time allotment? In other words, they can because of the the wind. They know the the weather so well that they can guide you for longer. Or is they do. They, the, the thermals. They know the thermals upside down, and they they could have they they could do it for an hour. You know, they think it's a twenty minute deal because it's a business. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. But right. yeah, they, they they can stay up there for quite a while. I mean, he saw he saw a badger on the side of the mountain, right at the very top, and we were yes. going down, and he brought me all the way back up, and we went right into the side of the badger, and the badger's up like this, like, okay, <laughs> start hissing at us. It was it was amazing, man. It was just crazy, and it was so. Be we hit the weather beyond belief. So, uh, it, all in all, majestic for sure. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, great. Congratulations. So, thank great. you. What are we looking so at? Market-wise, you know, talking about uh, the uh, conditions, weather conditions, if you're looking at this Dow chart on the left, so on the left is the Dow daily chart, in the middle is the weekly, and on the right is the monthly. Now, we've finished the month of May. Uh, sorry, uh, we, yes, we finished the month of May, and what we're looking at here is, let me just move this away. I'll put this as a one-to-one -one expansion, so I'll just take it away for the moment. You see this candle? This is called a Chapman Wave inverted green Roman candle, a okay. very long wick. The body um, is, in this case, the body is a half to two thirds of the way down, and there's a tiny little wick at the very bottom. So the rule of thumb, whether or not uh, I just uh, discussed this, I mean, I, sh I mentioned this with my subscribers this morning about this particular red one on the daily chart, but the principle is the same, that if on a shorter time frame the Dow is able to hold, in this case, I'm going to make it about two or three days. If for two or three days, the Dow is able to close maybe two out of three sessions, about 39,300 in the month of June, there's a real good chance that in this month, we'll go to the very top, and that's at 40,077. If it closes below the low of, uh, the, the low of this past month, and that'll be at that 37,000, I believe it's the 37,000. Let me just check. I want to get the right month. Yes, 37,780. <clears throat> it says that you've got to be careful because now you've got a strong resistance at this particular point where the uh, this is where it closed and it closed at 38,780. So that's that thing for the monthly chart using Chapman Wave. In the weekly chart, we've got a U-shaped pattern that's now into the second part of a U. So it's a W formation. So basically, I look at this as a rectangle. And I've had a number of um, webinars. I discussed the narrow rectangle, the large rectangle, the one that does exactly this, where it goes into a lowercase W or an M-shaped formation. So that's where we are right now. We're not in the middle, but close to the middle of the range. Now, the daily chart... <clears throat> And we were very fortunate using the Chapman Wave, you know, when you get to a leg D in the Dow, we almost always start to look for some kind of a, uh, some kind of insurance policy. We, we either, if we're long, we want to start a short position. Anyway, we, we shorted right there at the exact high of five, on the 20th of May at 40,077. So this is very interesting because we came down. Another technique that I use is round numbers. Would you have thought that the Dow at 38,000 could make a round number low? It was 38,000.87 or something like that. So it's virtual 38,000. 
So I said to subscribe. Let's, let's take some profits here because I'm anticipating that was Thursday. We could have a bounce. So we had that big bounce. We had this Chapman Roman candle. So, so far it hasn't gone. It went to the midpoint of this wick today, but it's up in the higher range. So that negates it to a certain extent. So I'm looking at this for the Dow. There's a, a, a consolidation going on and it's a rotational correction. So that there are one or two, for instance, we still have our Microsoft from way back at 338. It's trading at 414. It's just stuck in this upper range. But in fact, a lot of Dow stocks have really taken a beating, so it means that fewer and fewer are holding the fort right now. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, I believe the consolidation is going to continue for a little while longer, <clears throat> and we can, we're staying with our, our long-term long positions we've got, but our short-term position, short, we're going to stay with. Now, this is going to be very interesting because the semiconductors, as I always like to say, they kind of lead us up and they lead us down. Well, they're holding near the highs, all-time high of 250.85, but even with NVIDIA and all the talk and everything, it, the, the semiconductors have stalled. They haven't broken down. The nine is still over the 14. So we have a small, a short position in the semiconductors. But I think that this is part of this whole rotation that I'm talking about right now. So that even within the semiconductors, there are one or two that the fewer and fewer are holding the fort. So I think there's a digestive phase that's really important. I think it needs to unfold so we can get a much bigger move later in the summer. So that's the um, that's the uh, semiconductors. Now, what, what I think is also quite important at this particular stage is we've had the AIQ, which is the, this is the ETF, the Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF. We've had it for quite some time right here. This is the weekly chart way back here in 2023. We've still got this position taking little bits off to take a profit, but it is starting to stall. And this chart, the sideways action, again, a rectangle formation. And if you look at Microsoft, also in the AI area, look at this, same thing, sideways. If you look at the semiconductors um, on a weekly basis, look at this, it's, it's gone to the top and now it's, it's kind of having a high level consolidation. So at this particular point, I'm not looking at this as, as like a smash to the downside. I think it's rotational and it's just picking off one by one, for instance, the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, was doing really nicely, and now it's starting to, starting to slip. So I think one by one, we're seeing the Dow uh, has been taking a breather. The semiconductors now look, looks like it's in the process. The IWM did very well. Now I think it's in this process. So I think what we're looking at is one by one, they just starting to um, see some kind of weakness. And the daily charts are the ones that are worrying me, but the weekly charts, they've still got some room to go because they're holding much, much better. So it's step by step. We've raised cash. I like the fact that we've got cash because it really puts us in a good position, I think, for this next move that I think is coming up in June. Well, if the SMH has given up, it's all over, man. <laughs> then, it's, then it's a problem, for sure. It's I, all that's over. the reason yeah. why I, I'm being yeah. very cautious there, yeah, yes. Totally. Listen, folks, it's very easy to get Bowser's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see newsletters right in the top. Hit that. It's on the left-hand side, the opening call. You'll be very happy you did. Bowser, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with Mr. Man. Our man is Tim Wood. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also getting his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis.